Flight 92, 66, turn right heading 130. Uh, North Perry, 4,500 is requested. 68, Julian. Palm Beach, 53506, five, Olympia 2000. 506, Palm Beach, Roger. You want to go to 6500 on the way up? Why not? All right. Flight 9218, contact Palm Beach on the 125.2. Have a good day. Palm Beach 25.2, good day, 9218. Palm Beach 506. 506, go ahead. Yes, sir, we'd like to climb to 6500 if we might. Okay, I can get you up to 3000 for now. Okay, and we have the traffic at 12 o'clock. Okay, we're flying at about 38 knots. Well, you can go up a little heavier. I'm not getting a lot of wind right here. Okay. So well, I this is fine. I mean, I've got no objections to flying at this speed. Okay, well, my problem, the problem's going to be we're not going to be able to shoot him much above where we're at right now because the angle to shoot through this window, yeah. you're going to have to stall the friggin' airplane. I can do that. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> So what we're going to have to do probably <clears throat> is uh, uh, I, can, I can bring I can bring it up like that if you want. Does that help us? Well, no, it's not going to make enough difference on the pitch attitude because even if you gain 10 degrees on the angle, I'm yeah. not gaining a half a mile on altitude. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is I'll shoot the launch out the window. Yeah. And then I'll go to the windshield that we didn't bother to clean before we left. Okay. And we'll shoot the rest of it from there. Okay. Mr. President, who were some of those people that you were talking about earlier? Oh, we have Amanda Holyfield, uh, who's out of the county. Now, further information, well, the countdown First clock time. is uh, counting again. And That's you can hear news. the applause. And uh, things are uh, ready to roll again at 8 minutes and 45 seconds and counting. So apparently uh, they corrected whatever that uh, malfunctioning uh, uh, detector was with the uh, cabin pressure, and they got it going, and uh, we're ready to uh, find out more about our hero today, John Glenn. Robin? John Glenn, uh, we saved him for last. Thank you, John, for letting me be the one to speak about our star and our hero today, payload specialist born in Cambridge, Ohio. He has a Doctor of Science degree in engineering, in which we received them from nine colleges or universities. John Glenn has been awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross on six occasions and holds an air medal with 18 clusters for his service during World War II and Korea. They're announcing right now that there is an aircraft in the area and they have to hold until the aircraft leaves the vicinity of KSC. Uh, yeah, apparently, you called it, Victor. Uh, Some uh, idiot going to put this thing on hold. Which is rather amazing. How did they get in? Honestly, how did they do that? Well, I don't uh, know. One, one time, I forget which uh, which shuttle launch it was, but... Uh, going For back, the record, uh, on tape, uh, it's not uh, us. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, we have a uh, goal function start. 3, 2, there it is. 1. There it we goes. have a mission uh, liftoff of the space shuttle. Oh my, what a beautiful thing that is. There it goes. Is. There he goes, everybody, oh, John oh, Glenn beautiful. and the Discovery. Godspeed, John Glenn, and happy oh, landings. That thing happy come. landings, indeed. There he goes, John <laughs> Glenn, and the whole oh, world God watching God right me. now. Listen to the sound of those engines. As we're now 30 seconds into this flight, the roar of the engines is now reaching us here at the Kennedy Space Center.